Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Today I'm going to build a little bookshelf and the uh, original idea was inspired by a YouTube video that I saw that DIY Tyler had posted and it was of a school bus. I built that project, came out really nice, I was really happy with it and I decided to go ahead and try and make different variations of that project. So that's what I'm going to do today. To begin with, I made a little template. And this template is going to aid me in laying out the curves, um, laying out the locations of different parts. Uh, it'll help me lay out the, the, the cut that I make here. And just it'll make the whole job go a little easier. So join me as we make this project and we'll film as we go along. Thank you very much. All right, I have all my wood cut to size. I didn't film that because everybody knows how to cut wood. I gave everything a light sanding because there's never an easier time to sand than when everything is apart. And now we're going to lay out the, the different parts. This is the front and that doesn't need anything done to it right now. This is the windshield area. Like I said, I have my template. So I just lay my template on there. Get it lined up. I'm not going to use this area here. That was used on the school bus, but on this one I'm not going to use it. And I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to trace out where my windshield goes. And I'm going to trace out the outer the outline of the curve of the vehicle. This part here I'll probably knock off with the belt sander. This part here I'll drill a hole and I'll cut it out with my scroll saw. Now this is the back. So I turn my template around, get it lined up where I want it. And for this application, all I'm going to do is round off these edges. And again, I'll probably do that on my belt sander. This is the bottom. And as of right now, I don't need to do anything with that because it ends up being a rectangle as it is. There's just a few pocket holes get put in it. So I'm going to go ahead, knock these corners off, go over to the scroll saw and cut this out, and then we'll continue on. This is my rigid belt sander. Uh, it sits on a flip top bent, uh, cabinet, and I have another video on YouTube on, on this cabinet and the features of it. So what I'm going to do right now is just cut or sand off these edges and make them round so that I have the outline of the vehicle. I'm going to start it and do a little bit and then I'm going to turn the, the uh, camera off because I want to turn my dust collection on and it makes so much noise you wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway. So this is just how I do it. There's one side done, makes a nice, nice curve, and now I'll go ahead and do the others, and then we'll, we'll come back, when I come back, we'll be cutting out this hole. All right, I've drilled a hole, and I'm now going to cut out the, the area that represents the windshield.
And there we go, the windshield's cut out. The next step in the assembly is we're going to take the front, and this is the, the front, like where the grill and the headlights will be, and we're going to glue that onto, or glue those two pieces together. This piece of wood right here is the bottom of the vehicle. And to attach it to the front and the back, I'm going to put four pocket holes in it and use pocket hole screw jointry to put it together. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and drill my four pocket holes. There the pocket holes are done. These pocket holes are placed 7 8 centered, 7 8 of an inch off the edge. There's a reason for that and you'll see as the build goes along. As I've gone along in this project, <clears throat> I've decided to make this vehicle an ambulance. So, to go along with the ambulance theme, you know that an ambulance has lots of lights. So what I did is I took, went over to my drill press, took a Forstner bit, a half inch Forstner bit, and drilled these larger holes, and those fit these birch buttons. And the birch buttons, for the tail lights, they'll be painted red, and these outside lights will be painted red, and the inside one will be painted silver to look like a white light. The headlights will be painted silver to look like a white light. The up on this one again, the two outside ones will be red and the one in the middle will be silver. For the, I wanted some smaller lights too to kind of really make it look like there was a lot of lights on it. So what I did, I had these axles. They're, they're axles for small wheels to build toy cars with. And I cut them off so there's just a little nub on them. And that axle, the diameter of that is 7 30 seconds. So I drilled 7 30 seconds holes here. These will all be small light, look like small lights. These will all look like small lights. And then on the side, I put three small lights on the side of the front and the side of the back. So now that my drilling's done, I can go ahead and I can assemble the front and the back to the base. Well, we're at that point where we can attach the front and the back to the bottom. So what we're going to use is some glue and pocket holes. I'm sure pocket holes or pocket screws alone would hold, but a little bit of glue that sure doesn't hurt.
And there we go. That subassembly is all together. The next step is I need to make some wheels for the vehicle. And what I've done is I've taken a bunch of pieces of scrap and I've double side sticky taped them together and I've drawn out half of a wheel and I'm going to cut out that half a wheel on the bandsaw and by having them all stuck together I can cut out all four wheels at one time. So we'll do that now. And there's our wheels. I'll dress them up a little bit on the on the belt sander and then take them apart and they'll be all set. Back when we put in the pocket holes, I said there was a reason I put them where I put them. And that reason is that the, the tires that I've made are going to be used to hide the pocket holes. And so what I've done, because I don't want to put these on yet because they're going to get painted black, the rest of the vehicle is going to get painted white. So what I'm going to do is I've outlined where the tires are going to go. I'm going to take masking tape and mask that area off so that when I paint this there won't be any paint there and I can take the masking tape off and I can glue my wheels after they're painted. I can glue my wheels to the bottom of the vehicle. And that way you'll never see the, the pocket holes. So our next step is to mask that off. Then we're ready to paint the main part of the vehicle. All right, the painting's done. And for me, that's always the worst part of any project, is the finishing and the painting. Now we're just starting to put some trim on it. And I've got the headlights on, and I've got the, the one white lighter, in this case silver light, on the center. And I'm putting the red lights in now. And I'm using Aline's tacky glue. And the reason I use Aline's tacky glue is in this case there's paint in the holes and Aline's tacky glue will, will stick to that. And in addition to the pressure of the, of the plugs being put in, the tacky glue holds better than like a uh, uh, tight bond would because of the paint. So I'm going to get the rest of these lights on, and then I'll check back with you. Okay, our project's done. Uh, here's the final project. You can see that the, the tires and wheels, they covered the holes where we put the pocket screws in. There's the front with all of our lights on it, and the, the printing is on a clear... Uh, address label and then I just cut it out of the address label and stuck it on and then I coat after I painted this I cut I covered the whole thing with uh, a couple coats of clear lacquer and it gave it a real nice finish I don't know about you but finishing a project <clears throat> excuse me is the worst part um, I want to thank you for joining me in this build uh, I have a couple other videos on my channel if you'd like to check them out Again, this is Paul from Paul's Messy Workshop. If you have any questions, you can email me at this address that I'm going to stick right here. And I'll be putting more videos out. Uh, and I hope that you'll subscribe and like my videos. Thank you.